Another great discovery having to do with blood occurred in Vienna in 1900. There was a great enthusiasm throughout Europe for transfusing blood. And at first there were claims that this had marvelous therapeutic effects, but this was followed within months by reports of people who died. Why did some blood transfusions work and others didn't? An Austrian physician named Karl Landsteiner was determined to find the answer. He mixed blood samples from various individuals and studied the effects. In some cases, the samples mixed safely. But in other combinations, the blood clumped and became sticky. On closer examination, Lonsteiner found that clumping occurred when certain proteins called antibodies in the recipient's blood bonded to other proteins called antigens on the donor's red blood cells. For Lonsteiner, this was the moment of discovery. He realized that not all human blood was the same. He determined that human blood could be divided into four distinct groups. He called these blood groups A, B, AB, and O. He realized that blood transfusion could only be carried out safely when people received blood from someone who shared the same blood group. The impact of Lonsteiner's discovery was immediate. Within a few years, blood transfusions were being practiced around the world, saving countless lives. By the 1950s, accurate blood typing helped make organ transplants possible. Today, in the United States alone, blood transfusions are performed about once every three seconds. Without them, it's estimated that four and a half million Americans would die each year.